Mon nom est Thérèse Dardard, je reste à la Pointe-aux-Chiens et je suis un membre de la Pointe-aux-Chiens Indian Tribe. Mon nom est Donald Dardard, je suis secrétaire du Pointe-aux-Chiens Indian Tribe et je suis un pêcheur, j'ai pêché toute ma vie. Et je euh, reste à la Pointe-aux-Chiens et c'est une bonne place pour rester. Je vais rester ici dans ce qu'on mourit. C'est ici que je vais Pour une chaîne, Bintra has been here for, uh, to me, as long as, uh, as long as we, had, we had land. So we ain't got nothing written down the wires, but it's just we, the stories that, we, that was passed down and people's just been here. But uh, we had a community that was further down the bayou, but now it's everybody just like moved further up because saltwater intrusion, land loss, and, and so. The subsidence of land and the frequency of storms are altering the delicate balance between freshwater, marshland, and saltwater, leaving frontline communities more exposed. My mom like, is from down here. So when I was young, we used to come often to my grandfather's house. And there was no running water where he lived, no inside plumbing, nothing, no electricity, anything. And he lived there all his life. He was 88 when he died. And my uncle also uh, lived next door. And then uh, my aunt, a great aunt, lived further down. And I don't know, since I'm a young child, I've always felt attached to the land. So the land means a lot to me. We still claim all the land, even though it's not in our name, because Louisiana land, Apache, and all, they all, they all took the land. Oh. I guess so back in the 40s and 50s or whatever, and they came and did all. Uh, our people used to live all along Pornishant Bayou years ago, and they had a community maybe like six miles further down, and there had a lot of people that was living there. Our organization has had the benefit and the opportunity to visit with multiple tribes all across the United States. And one thing that has really stood out for me in particular, has been the amount of land degradation that I've seen personally that's occurred in Louisiana. Remember, most tribal groups were nomadic. At different seasons, they were able to move to different locations as a form of resilience. But the government required that tribal groups stay in tribally zoned lands, and that is to their detriment. Now they're forced to live off the water, not the land. And the water is being polluted. You know, whenever the um, oil companies started digging these canals for the oil, they caused the saltwater intrusion to come in. And whenever the salt water comes in, it kills all the marsh. And so the erosion just started. And then now with climate change and sea level rise, it's happening even faster.